welcome to my new video. Today we're going to be going through this incredible box that Geekshare sent me so generously and while they did send these to me for free, all of the opinions in the video are my own. I will tell you what I think about all of these products and I hope you enjoy the unboxing. First up is this precious soft case. It's like a shell for the Nintendo Switch. So I'm gonna show you kind of the texture of it. You can see here that it is super soft, very flexible, and I'm going to put it on my Switch so you can kind of see how easy it is to put on. Here is me on end. Oh my gosh, I said Antilia on Zinnia. There's me. This is indeed my YouTube Switch. Here I am struggling. It's really not that hard. That was totally me. This was super easy to get on, by the way. I was very impressed. I was worried about the Joy-Cons because I just am scared of that. But even the Joy-Cons end up being super easy to put on. And I mean, how cute is this? How cute is that back? I was hesitant because I love the Animal Crossing Switch's like back of the main console but it was worth it. This is so precious. Look at that. And it works so well with the color too of the ACNH switch. For those of you who might have it. Look at the little cats. Look at them in the stores. Oh. The colors work well even on the green Joy-Con. How cute is that? And I must say this switch case is like very soft, very nice to hold. All of the buttons are easily pressable still. Got the full range of mobility with the Joy-Cons. I think that all in all, this product is a 12 out of 10 for me. Do I feel like my Switch is slightly more protected than before? Yes. Is it also precious? Yes. I love that there's like the shell goes over the power button and the volume buttons. It just feels that much more protected. And as you can see here, I do have the mobility with the joystick still. Up next is a chonky little box. This is part of their new collection, Animal Forest. You know, I'm an Animal Crossing channel. I already love this. It just looks so cute even through the bubble wrap. And I had so much fun unwrapping this because duh, bubble wrap. You cannot look at this little design on the front and tell me it is not precious. Look at the little leaf. Oh my gosh. Speaking of the leaves, the little zippers were adorable too. I opened it and I was really impressed by how much space there was here. Obviously, there is enough space for your dock, your switch, your Joy-Cons, the little things that go on the Joy-Cons. I don't know the names of them, but yeah. And it even came with this strap so that if you're on the go, you can carry it over your shoulder. Here I am putting my Joy-Cons in expertly, as I always do. I was so happy with how smooth all of this went in. There was even space for a Pro Controller if you have one, and I thought that was super nifty so that you feel like your controller is more protected. And the little like rectangle in the corner is for your charger or any other accessory you want to bring. There were also these stretchy straps and space for 18 game cartridges. So this is a win. I now feel like I can, you know, safely travel with my Switch and all of the accessories. I decided to go ahead and try out the strap as well and it's very secure and very cute. Enjoy this look at my gaming desk as well. I've wanted a case like this for a while and this one is so perfect for me. Next up, here is Peaches to unbox the next item. She was so excited to participate, so I'll let her give you her thoughts. Hey guys, so this is a case for the Pro Controller and I really like to unbox it because it was so fun and I really like unboxing stuff, so that's the main reason. And it was really fun to unbox and I like the color of it. There's a little strap for it so you can hold it. And for the actual controller, there's a little case, or not case, but like strap inside. And I really like that so it doesn't move around. And I just really like this. So this is me putting it in to show you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. It has a little cat on it and it's really cute. And so, yeah. 
you've already seen a shell for the Nintendo Switch, so here's a super cute one for the Switch Lite. This is so cool because I was actually looking at this exact shell on Amazon just so recently, and now I have it here for my Switch Lite. You can tell this case is kind of beaten up. I've had this other shell for a while. So let's put on this new one. This Switch Lite shell is hard. It is like a hard case, not the soft, flexible shell we saw before. And look how beautiful it is. I like the little ridges on the back, kind of ergonomic. They're a nice touch to help you feel comfortable as you play. Moving right along, here we have a protective case for the Switch Lite. So this is one that you can put the Switch inside of, even with its little shell on. I did test it, and I thought this one was so cute. It's another part of the Animal Forest collection, and look at these motifs. They are gorgeous and cute. I love the little windmill, oh my goodness. The case is very soft, but it still feels sturdy, and I just love the colors here, the like neutral tones and the blue. It was so precious, and yeah, I thought it fit with the color themes on Animal Crossing pretty well too. I mean, look at it. Look at it go. It was very soft inside. I also am dumb and tried to put my Switch in it before I realized it was for the Switch Lite, but here I rectified my mistake. And look how good the Switch Lite looks here. As you can see, it's doing a good job of holding, holding my Switch Lite. I'm very impressed with this. This case too comes with its own strap. This next product is one of Geek Share's most iconic, in my opinion. I've seen this before everywhere, and I think it is just beautiful. It is another of their cases that carry both your Nintendo Switch and its accessories. This one's theme is cat. This is a cat paw, and I mean, look at the look at the zippers. Absolutely no complaints here. This one is, I think, slightly larger than the Animal Forest one, but it fits all of the Nintendo Switch items perfectly. And again, we have a cute little strap to go with it. This time I am gonna show you with the dock in as well. I didn't realize until after I filmed actually that the bottom corner was for the charger. So I just leave it empty because I'm like, wow, I must not have that accessory and that's okay. This case too holds everything very securely and I just feel like it's a great product all in all. I think it's strange that I've had no complaints so far, but truly all of these are so cute and so functional, which is obviously top priority with your tech. Next, I have these Animal Forest thumb grips and how cute are they? My grips came with the turnips and the cherries and I was so excited because I really wanted the turnips and I'm gonna put them on my Switch Lite so you can see. I think these are very soft and squishy and they just feel so nice, like little like gel kind of. Thumb grips are my mortal enemy, and these two were a little bit difficult to get on the Switch Lite, but look how cute they were once they were on. This is precious, and I just love the little turnips and the cherries, too. Now Peaches is going to unbox these thumb grips and let you know what she thinks. So these are the thumb grips and I really like the little chickens and I actually begged Lexi to put them on first because I could not put them on. They were so hard, but overall I really liked them because they were little chickens and I really like chickens for some reason. Yeah, I really liked it and this is them side by side. And now Lexi is going to unbox these. I told GeekShare that I really loved cats and they definitely delivered, but I do want to note that none of the thumb grips appear to be compatible with the Pro Controller, only with Joy-Con joysticks. 
As much as I love this soft shell, I needed to try out this one for you all as well. This is a hard shell for the regular size switch. I thought that this one was precious as well, and I was wondering if it would be easier to put on since you can detach the Joy-Con pieces. I think this one was definitely easier to get on and to take off. Um, so yeah, I think this was probably my favorite of the two cases, although I love and recommend both depending on what you're looking for. This one, even though it was like hard plastic, it felt super soft. It was very nice. It had a nice, you know, coating on top. So it was very comfortable to hold. And again, it had the ergonomic ridges that make it very comfortable in your hand. It was also very satisfying to put these on the Joy-Cons. Very nice. This case felt very soft and it looked the cutest, so definitely, definitely love this one. Thank you again to GeekShare for sending me all of these items, and remember to check out the description if you'd like to visit their website or their social media. I hope you all have a lovely day, and this is goodbye for now.